Hi everybody. Now you people are going to have your exams. So what we are going to do? Right. We are going to do revision. Today in this session we are going to revise lesson number 3 soil erosion and conservation. I have added textbook pages for you to go through. Now, the upper layer of earth is mostly soil. Soil is made of small particles of broken down rocks, remains of dead plants and animals, water and air. Soil also contain tiny living organisms such as insects, worms and microorganisms like bacteria etc. Soil is very important. Can you tell me why? Yes, because plants grow in soil and life is not possible on earth without plants as they give us food as well as oxygen. Now how do plants make their food? Plants make their food by the process called photosynthesis for which Plants use the nutrients in the soil to grow and make their food. All animals depend directly or indirectly on plants for food because few animals eat plants and other animals eat those animals who eat plants. That is why soil is very important for us as plants grow in it. Many animals live in soil like rabbit, earthworm, etc. We use products from the soil to build our homes. Soil is formed by the breaking down of rocks into small pieces by a process called weathering. Yes, the bigger rocks are slowly broken down into pebbles which gradually turns into sand and which turns into the soil. And what is this called? This is called weathering. So how is soil formed? Soil is formed by the breaking down of rocks into small pieces by a process called weathering. Now the topmost layer of soil is known as topsoil. It has humus and is very fertile layer of soil. The formation of one centimeter thick soil takes more than 100 years but it can get eroded within few years. So it is very important to protect the soil. The protection of soil against erosion is known as conservation. Now what is erosion? Sometimes the soil is taken away by wind or water from the place where it was formed. This taken away of soil by wind or water is known as soil erosion. Now soil erosion can be caused by wind water due to human activities like deforestation, plowing, overgrazing. Now, what is deforestation? Humans have cut the forest. They have cleared the forest for various needs like building cities, homes, factories, roads, etc. Now, as we know that the roots of the plant hold the soil together. So, when the plant cover is removed from the soil, the soil become bare of vegetation and it can be easily carried away by wind or water. Now, overgrazing. The overgrazing of trees or grass by cattle remove the plant cover from the soil. 
which exposes the soil to the agents of erosion like wind or water. In this way, overgrazing results in soil erosion. Now, plowing. While farming, farmers have to plow the field. For that, when they flow, plow the field, the soil becomes loose and that loose soil can be easily carried away by wind or water. In that way, plowing also results in the erosion of soil. Now, afforestation, soil cover, shelter belt, terrace farming, building embankment are various methods of conservation of soil. Let us discuss how afforestation means growing plants because the plants hold the soil together. So it will help in conservation of soil. Soil cover when the crop is harvested and before the next crop is sown. The land is bare so the soil is loose and it can be easily carried away by wind or water. To avoid that, farmer either grow grass or cover the land with dried vegetation. That's how it helps the soil to, from getting eroded. Now shelter belts means growing hedges or shrubs along the edge of farmlands. It helps to avoid soil erosion by breaking the wind, breaking the speed of wind. They are known as windbreakers. Terrace farming is done in hilly areas as fast flowing rivers carry more and more soil as when they flow down the slope they are in too much speed. So, because of that, they get the soil with them. So, to avoid this, the terrace are made. That is, steps are cut into slopes, which avoids soil erosion. Because the soil that is eroded from one step gets deposited on the next step. In this way, it helps in reducing soil erosion, building embankments. The fast flowing rivers erode more and more soil from their banks. So strong embankments or buns are built on the bank of a river from rock or soil, which avoid erosion of soil by the rivers on their banks. So, let us see the questions based on what you have already studied and what we have discussed right now. Let us solve these questions. Children, always remember one thing. I am going to put a tick here, but in the exam, you are going to click on the correct option. What you will do? Right. Click on the correct option. So, the upper layer of earth is mostly rock. Right, that's false. The upper layer of earth is mostly soil. All animals depend on plants for food. That's true. The breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces is called weathering. Yes, the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces is called weathering. Weathering cannot be done by animals. That's false. Weathering can be done by plants, animals, wind, water, weather changes, etc. The topmost layer of soil is called humus. Right. The topmost layer of soil is called topsoil. So that is false. Soil erosion by water may cause earthquake. That is false. It may cause 
floods. Strong winds cause erosion in the area where there is more vegetation. Yes, that is false. A strong wind cause erosion in the area where there is less vegetation like deserts, etc. Roots of the plants hold the soil particles together and reduce erosion. That's true. Humans have cleared the forest which has increased soil erosion. That is true. Humans have cleared the forest for their various needs because of which the land become bare of vegetation and the soil can be easily eroded by wind or water. So, clearing of forest has increased soil erosion. Formation of a layer of soil that is 1 cm thick takes 10 years. That is false because it takes hundreds years. Afforestation is very effective in preventing soil erosion in hilly areas. That's true. Shelter bells reduce speed of water. That is false. Shelter bells are the plants grown on the edge of the farmlands which reduce the speed of wind. They act as wind breakers. So that is false. Terrace farming is done in plains. That is false. It is done in hilly areas to avoid soil erosion by fast flowing rivers. In this way, the soil eroded from one step gets settled on the next step and thus avoid soil erosion. Soil in farmlands is more likely to get eroded after the crop is harvested. That's true because when the crop is harvested and before the next crop is sown, the land is bare. That's why the soil can be easily eroded by wind or water. Now choose the correct option. Soil erosion by water is greater in plains, hills, deserts or coastal areas. That's true. Soil erosion by water is greater in hills. Erosion by wind is greatest in that's true. The erosion by wind is greatest in deserts. Humans have cleared the forest to build farm, cities, factories or all of this. The correct answer is all of this. The topmost layer of soil is known as humus, topsoil, sand or clay. That's true. The topmost layer of soil is known as topsoil. The erosion due to activities of humans include deforestation, overglazing, plowing or all of this. The answer is all of this. Among these is not responsible for soil erosion, wind, water, human activities or plants? The answer is plants. Humans have reduced plant cover and caused increase in soil cover, soil conservation or soil erosion. True, they have increased soil erosion. Dash causes the soil to be eroded from banks, wind, humans, animals or fast flowing rivers. The answer is 
fast flowing rivers as they erode more and more water from their banks now answer the following questions what is weathering the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces is called weathering what is topsoil the topmost layer of soil is called topsoil define soil erosion the process of water or wind carrying away the soil is called soil erosion what is soil conservation the protection of soil against erosion is known as conservation why is the topmost layer of soil most fertile the topmost layer of soil or the top layer of soil is most fertile as it contains humus and when this soil gets eroded by wind or water the land becomes barren or infertile and it cannot be used for farming we are going to end this session here